Hola, hola, Pro Guides familia. Soy Rafa. For those that don't know me, I mostly do content over on the Wild Rift Pro Guides channel, but today I'm coming here to talk to you about the state of Q dodging. This includes Riot's future plans and some of the projects they hinted after. So let's get into it. At the moment, Riot has made it a high priority to try to deal with dodging. While this may not affect a vast amount of players, it still ends up wasting a ton of time. If for some reason you don't know what dodging is, it's where you leave matches during champion select you think are unwinnable. The issue with this is that it ends up putting other players into yet another lobby that can often last just as long for a similar result. Plus, Riot says it even creates worse lobbies for the remaining players on each team. The unfortunate reality is, this is a legitimate strategy for players to save their MMR. Rather than play the game and lose 15 plus LP alongside MMR, they decide to dodge and lose the 3 or 10 LP since their gains afterwards won't be a Affected. It's been noted as one of the best ways to climb quickly. That being said, there is no real punishment for dodging at the moment. Besides the loss of LP and the occasional 15 minute queue timer, it's really not much of a big deal for a lot of players. Even a few infamous challenger players have dodged their master promos in order to get some insane LP gains, such as plus 23 and minus 15. Before we continue on with the changes, don't forget to check us out at ProGuides.com where you can view our great catalog of coaches, courses, and overall, a walkthrough to your dream rank. While you're there, be sure to explore around and take a look at our amazing subscription and VOD review services. Nonetheless, let's get back into the video and dive right into the newly announced changes. At the moment, Riot is looking to take a pretty aggressive approach in order to deal with players who dodge large amounts of games. As we said before, there really isn't a big penalty after your second dodge. However, with the new changes, Riot is looking to add a significant punishment to players who dodge more than twice in a day. Before we go into the punishments and how it may reduce dodging, let's look at their data. Riot has reported that in high MMR matches, 33% of champion selects end in a dodge. That being said, only 1.6% of high-ranked players are dodging more than three times a day, which is really what Riot is looking to target. Overall, it leads to significantly longer queue times, which Riot reports takes on average 40% more time. Taking a look at the new changes, Tier 1 punishment is still similar with a 6-minute queue lockout and a minus 3 LP penalty. Tier 2 is also untouched with a 30-minute queue lockout and a loss of 10 LP. However, the new Tier 3 dodge has a significant change of no longer being a copy of Tier 2. Now, you will lose 10 LP and be put on a 12-hour queue lockout. That's right, summoners. If you dodge three times in a row, you will not be able to play for half a day. Before we continue on with the video, don't think we've forgotten about everyone's favorite pro guide tradition for our question of the day. We want to know, what issue do you wish Riot put at the top of their priority list? Let us know your answer in the comment section below. We're not sure how near in the future these changes may come, but Riot is looking to work on a few other problems. One of them is adding new punishments to champ select reporting. This essentially allows for players to report players who are attempting to hold others hostage and intentionally ruin the game. Alongside this, they want to better the issue of autofill and overall make it happen significantly less. While these are really cool to see, they decided to move forward with prioritizing dodging. At least autofill seems to be up next. Yeah, terminamos familia. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to join our Pro Guides community at ProGuides.com. We offer exclusive giveaways and classes that you won't catch anywhere else. So stay tuned and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next video. And don't forget to stay safe, stay healthy, and have a wonderful day. Adios!